We're looking at the Aware Glow today, which um, I'm a big fan of the Aware brand. Um, I, As you guys know, I'm a big air quality believer. I think we need to do better for our kids, our family, and Aware kind of shares that that vision, that that um, desire that I have, right? So the Aware Glow is something that it is not HomeKit compatible. Um, it's not even Amazon Madam A compatible, at least not in Canada. The skill hasn't been released yet, but it makes it super, super easy for you to do simple automations. This is temperature, humidity, CO2, a volatile organic compounds. There is a motion sensor and there is a built-in smart plug with a incredibly simple automation. Um, it does not do particulate matter. It does not do the PM2.5, the dust that you'll get on the larger aware box, but it is a um, sweet little device that just plugs into your wall and helps you take care of your air. Let's take a look. So the aware box, again, Nice, clear packaging, clean lines, um, clear image of exactly what's in the box. VOCs, CO2, temperature, and humidity, right? You can trigger by air quality, by time of day. You can even trigger by motion if you want, right? It is a um, a nice little, little air quality device. And what's kind of cool about this is if you're not really invested in any smart home ecosystem, uh, or maybe you just don't care, you can actually just connect this guy configure it and away you go, right? You don't need to, to invest in a hub or a smart home hub and any, any of that kind of stuff. I will leave it to you guys to decide whether that's an advantage or a disadvantage. Me personally, I would love to see this in um, Apple's HomeKit ecosystem. I'd love to see support on this, that they would release the Madam A skill in Canada, right? That would be awesome. But it's also great as a standalone product. You can see here, they've got this nice little plug that um, you can use this just as a sensor. You don't necessarily have to turn this on. And it's not that big. It's nice, tiny. It is going to consume the whole outlet. And this is a North American um, plug right now. So you can see there is not much else in the box here. This is about as simple as you get. It is a smart plug that has all of those sensors. And that uh, the little dot there on the end is the motion sensor. So I've already got the full aware box here. So I've already got the my, an account created, all that good stuff. Um, I Honestly, it's been a while since I've added a device in here. So it took me a little bit of time looking around in the application to figure out how to how to add the, the, add the glow, right? So we're going to click on the, the three dots in the top left-hand corner of the menu button. And we're going to click on the plus button, obviously, to add a new device. It tells me, look for the blue light blinking. Um, honestly, this took a little bit of time for this to happen. Um, it, it just did. It was about a 30 second, 45 second, which to me seemed like an eternity. You know, it is what it is. Once it came up, though, the blue light was flashing. Um, you know, it was a boot up time. All that's good. Now I'm going to use Bluetooth to push over my Wi-Fi settings over to the glow box. Right. Which is kind of cool. So it's going to say, hey, let me see what Wi-Fi settings I can find. So I'm going to attach that to my Wi-Fi and then I will put in my uh, pre-shared key. And then I, at this point in time, I'm using Bluetooth to transfer my Wi-Fi settings over to the Glow device, which it will then use from here on out, right? Connected. So, okay, cool. It is connected. I can see that it is going um, that the, the right color. Um, it's also going to ask me to search for my location. Finds the city, which is kind of nice. It doesn't actually show the entire my entire address. But really what they're doing here is they're taking into account my physical location and then they're doing lookups on the web to find out what does what does the air out look like outside of my house, right? If the humidity is 60, 70% outside, it's not going to tell me to open my window to lower the humidity, right? Or um, maybe if it's really dusty outside and, and I've got dust problems in the house, it can take that into account, which is kind of cool, right? So it's telling us, do, do we see attention? Do you see the air light status? Gives us a nice little uh, recommendation here. Um, as far as you know how to read the device and of course we've got the temperature I live in Canada I deal in Celsius right so this is going to be working great for our our friends south of the border here um, Americans I live in Canada right so you got the Fahrenheit as well you've got Celsius and you can see here pretty clearly I've got my temperature I've got humidity I've got volatile organic compounds and I can also manually push the buttons here to change the power on and off or change the light mode. The light is fairly bright at night, so that is something that you're probably going to want to be aware of, is you might not want this on if that disturbs your sleep schedule. 
So continuing our little tour of the app, you can see here, I've got two different devices. I've got my full aware, which this has um, dust, but no power. So this is a larger box. And then I've got the bedroom with that little power plug. So I can actually modify the plug on or off, or just like I can push on top of it to change it from night light to the air quality status, um, light completely off, right? I have those options. So if I want to turn the light off at night because it disturbs me, I can turn that off here, right? Which is kind of cool. Now, as I said, this also has a motion sensor in it. So you can actually have this being a motion powered light. So kind of a, a night light that turns itself off. We've also got a automatic shut off so that if it can't connect to the internet, um, it will automatically turn the power off. So if you can't um, figure out the, the heat or dust or whatever it is, you might not want to leave a heater turning on, turned on in your bedroom, for instance, the entire time, right? Um, so it, it's nice that they put this thought into this as far as um, using the motion sensor, as well as making sure that in the event that the internet connection goes down, that you're not just continuing to heat your house. It'll just stop that if, if you so choose. Right, so you've got the, the rest of the data here. And the nice thing is here in the Aware Plus is you can automate the devices and it will have, has different profiles if you have a humidifier or a dehumidifier, heater, fan, all these kinds of things. So you can kind of choose which one you want and um, automatically based on the type of device you want, it will use different, um, the different information coming in from the sensors. So for instance, it's too cold and you've got a heater plugged in, I'm going to raise the heat, right? The air quality goes back and you've got an air, pl air purifier turned in, turn, uh, plugged into it. I am going to uh, turn the air purifier on if the air quality is low, right? My CO2 or VOCs are high. I could turn a fan on, for instance, right? So again, you've got the uh, good documentation. You click right on the app and it'll go exactly tell you what to do here. All right, so you just tap on it, look at that, it's turned on, and you can see, is it triggered based on the air, schedule, um, or eco motion? So maybe you only want to turn it on when somebody's actually in the room, right? There is a lot of capabilities in this little box. Uh, it is not the least expensive plug in the world, for sure, but based on what it does and the amount of thought they've put into this, I'm a really big fan of Aware as a company. We spend a lot of time indoors and Aware is really trying to make that better for us by improving the quality of the air we breathe, which ultimately improves the quality of our lives for not just us, but our family, our loved ones, our pets, right? That's a big deal. What do you guys think? Would you consider putting this in your house? Do you do you like the fact that it is just this easy, simple automation? Um, let me know in the comments below. Likes are always appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't already and definitely if you want to make your house a little smarter using Apple HomeKit, check out the link below. There is a coupon code for the Udemy course. There are updates happening in the near future. Uh, if you haven't checked it out already, and if you have checked it out already, you might want to go back and take a look. There might be something new.